question. Hi, my name is Christy and I'm a nurse practitioner with UNC Pediatric Neurosurgery. And I am gonna show you how to measure a head circumference from your home. So the first thing you need to do is uh, figure out what kind of tape measure you're gonna use, which um, this, can, this can be a little bit tricky uh, depending on kind of what you have in your house. So I'm gonna show you a couple of options. Um, option one is the um, easiest one. That's if you have an actual head circumference tape measure from your healthcare provider. They might have mailed you one, or um, it might be something that you can grab the next time you go to see your, your pediatrician. But it looks like a crown. Um, it's really the easiest one to, to use and the most accurate, I think. Um, <laughs> option number two is gonna be if you have a tape measure that's kind of like this, where it's still flexible, um, Still a really good option. It has inches and centimeters on it. Option number three is what my daughter is trying to demonstrate. Um, she has a ribbon that you're gonna wrap around your baby's head if you don't have a tape measure. Um, you can even use floss, honestly, it would be just fine. Right, yeah, is that working? Can you hold on to it for me, okay? Once you wrap that around your baby's head, then you can lay it next to a ruler or a tape measure um, to be able to measure how long the, the ribbon was. So I'll show you how to use that though on, on my baby here in just a minute. Okay, baby. Let's, you wanna start with that one? Okay, let's wrap it around his head, okay? So we're gonna wrap it around his head just like this. And you're gonna wrap it around. You want it to be kind of snug, just like that. You wanna go about a finger's width above the eyebrow and maybe a finger or two above the ear and really find the widest spot you can around the back. It's okay, buddy. A lot of babies hate this, so it's pretty normal for them to scream the whole time. Pull it as snug as you can. Get that measurement there. So I sort of marked it with my finger. And then we're gonna lay it next to the ruler right here. And I'm getting right at 40. 45 centimeters. So that's one of the options. Um, again, that's if, you know, it worked pretty well. Um, something pretty easy. You most likely will have some ribbon or something at your house that you can use. Then we will go to this one, which is the one that your healthcare provider might have given you. Hey, buddy. gonna wrap it around their head again um, and you want to think about doing it in the same area each time so you know it doesn't have to be exactly how I'm doing it you know that finger width above the eyebrow a couple fingers above the ear as long as you are doing it the same way each time that's the most important thing I know, I know, I know. so we're gonna turn this side and I'm getting 44.5 centimeters right here so I'm um, pulling it nice and snug here you go, 44.5. I know, I know, buddy, I know. Okay, and lastly, can you help me with that one? Can we help with that one? Yeah, good job. Okay, we're gonna wrap that around his head, okay? Ready? 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 Okay, let's do, let's wrap that one around, all right, ready? Here we go. So you're gonna take that, wrap it around, just like so. Here you go, buddy, you helping? You helping? And again, just same location, just trying, same position, just trying to kind of stay consistent within yourself. Um, wrapping it around. About a finger's width above the eyebrow. And I'm getting right at about 44, 44.3 on this one. So those are the three options. Um, I would recommend each time you do it, take the measurement two or three times because as you can see, it can be a little chaotic. Um, so take a couple of measurements. You can even take a picture of how you're measuring your baby's head. Take a picture of the actual measurement if you want. 
And you can send those pictures to your healthcare provider so they can really make a judgment on, are you doing it right? Um, is that a good measurement? You can kind of give them a little bit more guidance too on how to make um, decisions about how your baby's head is growing. Uh, so hopefully this is helpful. Um, and I really appreciate my two little, two little models here. And uh, you guys stay safe out there. Have a good day.